guys, it's Armfro here again. Hair here again with the battle versus Doctor Shenanigans of RPX. Uh, I started with my Mew lead. He started with the Rotom lead. I'm definitely gonna think it's scarfed. Uh, so I'm just gonna just go for the Stealth Rocks. I wanted it up, uh, but he goes for the Volt Switch and switches into his Notore, which is not a good sign. I mean, of course, I always like. I always guess that they're going to be in the Tory lead, but you know what? Whatever. Um, so right now, I'm just going to go for the Taunt, uh, just so he can set up Stealth Rocks, Leak Seeds, Spikes, or whatever. And so now I'm thinking he's probably, he's probably going to attack my Savio. So you know what? I'm going to transform into him so he gets hit by his own uh, Steel Barbs, and it'll force a switch. Um, so he hit us with his Iron Barbs, which is pretty good. But I don't see spikes on this set, so I'm like, you know what? It was worth a try. I'm actually just gonna switch into my Dustnor just to try to willow us this guy and just see if he's gonna for switch into something. Uh, but he's actually decided to switch, and he actually goes into his uh, Renekus, which is not a good matchup for me. I predict a Shadow Ball, so I'm actually gonna switch into my Comova, my Star, my Star Raptor. Uh, he goes for the Calm Mind, and I'm thinking, you know what? I'm just gonna go for the double edge. If I don't, if I don't kill him, I can revenge kill him very easily. This is a brand new team that I made. It's purely offensive. Uh, I think there's like only two guys on my team who are defensive, and I've used them forever, which is Dustin or Porygon too. But uh, he gets he kills me with one psychic because uh, Staraptor has terrible defenses. So I go to my my Lol Rocks, my Aerodactyl. Uh, this is actually a home clause. I actually used it for my Let's Wing It tournament, and it didn't turn out that well. So uh, let's see if he actually does pretty good in this match. Uh, he is actually Focus Sash, so he actually switches into his Rotom. Uh, I just think he might just go for the Hydro Pump, but he goes for the Volt Switch. Um, as I think to myself, you know what, I'm just going to go for the Stone Edge. Hopefully he doesn't switch into his uh, Natore, which would be really good if he did. Oh, fuck, he goes Natore. Um... I miss a Stone Edge, did not matter at all because, I mean, it's a fucking Natore. Uh, I, I keep on saying Natore, but I should be saying Ferrothorn, which is the English name. But, you know, I'm just used to saying uh, Ferrothorn, I mean, Natore so much, and I don't know, it just looks like a Natore. My Earthquake doesn't do shit to him. Uh, I go for the Home Collage just in case he goes for, like, over predicts or something like that. I don't even know what he was going to go for. But he just goes for the Gyro Ball and takes me out. Uh, actually, I was thinking a Power Whip miss or Elite Seed miss or whatever. But right now, I'm actually just going to go in my uh, dust, my dust normal, my Tagoro, as I'm just going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to burn this guy and just get some residual damage, even if he does do Elite Seed. Um, if he Elite Seeds my, my dust normal, he's not going to get a lot of health, health left because Dustnor has terrible HP. I mean, he has amazing defenses, but his HP is trash. I mean, look how much he gets um, with leftovers. I mean, he goes to full health right now with the leftovers recovery, but Burn does a lot more. So I'm thinking to myself, um, okay, I'm actually just going to switch my Porygon too, because I do have the Steel Barbs, uh, Trace Steel Barbs, so if he goes for a Gyro Ball or something like that, um, he'll hit himself. But he actually does go for the Lead Seed, predicting my switch, which is really smart on his part. Uh, so now, I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam to see how much damage I could do. And uh, hopefully, I will do more than what he recovers from Leftovers and Elite Seed, plus the Burn. But uh, I decided, you know what, fuck this. I'm going to switch in my uh, Mew, uh, just to hopefully get a Taunt off on, on this guy. Um, he goes for the Power Whip, which one would have done decent damage because Steel Barbs, but you know what, I don't give a fuck. I'm actually just going to taunt this guy because Elite Seed is getting really fucking annoying. Uh, so now... He actually decides to predict my taunt and go into his Latios. Uh, now, I'm thinking to myself, okay, this Latios probably isn't that defensive, and he's probably just going to either Draco Meteor, Dra if he goes for a Dragon Pulse, I can live and just go for the U-Turn uh, and save myself for later. So I'm actually just going to go for the U-Turn. It is super, super effective damage, and Mew has decent attack, so it's going to do a decent chunk to this guy. So I go for the U-Turn. It does a, a really, real, relatively good chunk. I actually just go to my Dust Nord because I do carry the Shadow Sneak, which is super effective stab. Um, it's going to do pretty good damage, considering how much you turned it. So now, I just gonna recover. I know I am a special defender, so it's not, his Dragon Pulse is not going to do that much to me. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the Shadow Shadow Sneak. He lives with minuscule HP. I go. For, he goes for the Dragon Pulse. It's not going to do that much damage because, I mean, I am a special defender. Uh, so now, he does die to his own life world, which is really awesome. Uh, 
So next he actually brings out his Toreki on his Justice. And so I'm like, you know what? He's gonna overpredict. He's gonna predict my switch, so I'm gonna stay in. Um, hopefully go for the paint split, and booyah, he does predict my switch. Goes for, I go for the paint split, get some delicious health. Um, so now, I know he's actually just going to predict my um, predict my stay and just going to go for the stone edge. Um, but no, he doesn't. He actually s switches into his Rotom. I know I would have been able to take, I, I would have been able to take a, a stone edge from where I'm at. So, um, I just go for the earthquake. He, of course, levitate, Rotom, whatever. So I'm actually just going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, just to see if I could take this, uh, do some ritual damage to this Rotom, just in case he wanted to trick me. But he actually switches into his Natore uh, to make my Will O Wisp completely worthless, which is really good. His very good prediction, but he does take Stealth Rock damage and Burn damage. Um, so I'm thinking to myself, okay, um, if he doesn't go for attack move, I can switch into my Mew and um, taunt this guy so he can't uh, do anything. So I bring my bring in my Mew. He is gonna go for the Leap Seed which is really awesome, so I know I can take one Elite Seed damage, and I can taunt this guy, so uh, if he does go for like a Gyro Bar or a Power Whip, he won't get any, any uh, recovery from Elite Seed next turn, and he will be taunted so he can't Elite Seed anything else that comes in. Um, so now I'm actually just gonna, okay, I'm obviously gonna go for the taunt, so he can't lead seed anymore, because this lead seed is pissing me off. But he goes for the gyro ball, which is really good, because now he won't get any burnt, any left lead seed recovery, so he will be taking some residual damage. So now, I'm actually gonna send in my Jeremiah Woods Bullfrog, he is specced, um, and I'm gonna go for the HP fighting, uh, but of course, I miss Sav, and his it is HP Grass, which sucks ball sack. He goes for the Power Whip. That is going to take me out. Um, he gets a crit. Not sure if that mattered, but because the HP Fighting failed, uh, I think a spec HP Fighting would have actually brought him down to where Burn would kill him. But, you know what, whatever. So I'm actually just going to send him my Tagoro. Um, I do carry the Earthquake, which is uh, pretty good damage to this guy. Um, and the burn is just going to wither him down, 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 down. He goes for the job. Well, it's not going to do shit to me because Dustin Orr is slow as fuck. So now, um, with the leftovers and the burn, he's actually taking a lot more damage than what he's recovering. And because the lead, he can't lead seed, uh, actually he's going to lead seed now because he can actually do it, um, is going to bring him down to a, to a level. Because Dustin Orr has not that good HP, um, he's literally the perfect thing to lead seed, to have lead seed it because he's not going to recover a lot of HP. Um, I think he recovers, I, I don't know how much he recovers, maybe a fourth of what Lead Seed does, um, but, which is not a lot with Duskinor. Um, it's actually get neutralized by the burn. So I'm actually just going to go for the Earthquake again, and it almost takes him out. Um, thanks to Earthquake not being a completely uh, physical move, um, he will actually, I will not take power uh, Iron Barb's damage, which is even better for me. So now my Tagoro is pretty much... I'm definitely 100% going to KO this Natori, which it has been a pain in my ass. I honestly don't know why he switched, probably just to wither my Tagoro down as much as possible so he can actually switch, come into it with his Rotom and hopefully take me out. But you know what? I think I'm going to hit, I thank God he misses the, um, misses the Hydro Pump and I actually um, go over the pain split. I get some decent health. But Leet Seed is still on me, so it's, it's going to do a lot of damage. So I'm thinking to myself, uh, I'm going to switch the hell out of there. Go to my Porygon 2, my Mac OX. I did switch a nickname. Um, <laughs> I traced Levitate, completely worthless. And he actually goes for Hydro Pump. Misses again, didn't really matter that much. I mean, Porygon 2 is amazing special defense. He's going to go into his Wrath. I actually wanted to T-Wave his uh, Rotom so I could outspeed it with my Dusnor and just get more paint split damage off. But I... Paralyzed his Sizzle, which is not that good, but I mean, if I do have, like, my Dust Nord does have Shadow Sneak, um, I will be able to be faster than him, which might play better off later on, later on in the game. He is Choice Banded, so I'm just going to recover off the damage. He is going to uh, hit me with a Bullet Punch. Um, it's not doing that much because I am amazingly defensive Porygon 2. So, um, yeah, he's... Bullet Punch is not doing shit to me. I'm just gonna just actually go for the Thunderbolt. It does a pretty decent chunk, but he actually predicts my switch, uh, predicts my Thunderbolt again, um, and goes into his Rotom. I go, I predict his switch and go for the T-Wave, so his Rotom won't do shit. I actually really wanted his Terekion to come in, 
Um, but you know what? Whatever. I actually go for the thunder Thunderbolt. It does a fuckload of damage to this guy. Um, and he gets the crit on the Thunderbolt. As thank God he didn't get the Parahex too. But I just go for the recovery because I am faster than him. And I know he's scarfed. He's stuck in the Thunderbolt. So there's nothing really much he could do here. Um, as long as he doesn't get a Parahex, I am perfectly fine. But he actually switches here, predicting my recover, and goes back into his Scizor. Hopefully, um... One hit KOing me with the superpower, but I actually go for the recover. I am at full, almost full health now. I think I'm actually I might be at full health. Yeah, so I go for the thunderbolt. It's not going to take him out. Uh, he goes for the superpower, which is really powerful hit because choice banded, but it doesn't take me out. And I know he can't go for the bullet punch because he's stuck in the superpower. So which is really good. That means his superpower now is going to do less damage. So I'm actually just go for the recover. His superpower is going to do 1.5 less damage because that's how much uh, one attack decrease is. So it's not going to be able to take me out. So now I will now do heal more than what he actually loses. Um, or actually does with superpower. So he actually switches into his Torekion on my recover. Um, so I'm sitting here. I am a purely defensive um, Porygon 2. And I know he's going to predict my switch and my Dust Nord, so he goes for the Stone Edge. Not Hopefully not... Hopefully me not going for the um, switching in my Death Snore, but I go for the T-Wave just so I can outspeed him with pretty much anything. And so now, I'm actually just going to, he's going to predict my recover, and I'm going to go into my Death Snore. Um, this is very big mind games, but he actually does go for the close combat, um, so I will be immune, and now I can easily go for the Earthquake, because um, it is super effective damage, but he actually switches into his Rotom Wash which I'm perfectly fine with because I could Shadow Ball, I mean Shadow Sneak him. Uh, he doesn't know I have Shadow Sneak yet, but I do carry the Shadow Sneak, and it's just more leftovers recovery that I have. So now he's actually going to predict my switch and go into his Terekion, which is really weird. I go for the Shadow Sneak. It's not going to do that much because Dust Norris doesn't have, Dust Norris doesn't have that amazing uh, defense. Uh, I mean, attack, but I'm actually just going to go for the Earthquake and easily take him out. I mean, that's really good for me. I mean, more leftovers recovery, so I can take a bullet punch now. But that's not going to be do that be that good for him, because now he's just going to send in, send in his um, Scizor. I'm actually going to outspeed him because of he's paralyzed and just go for the Shadow Sneak, take him out. Uh, oh my god, Tagoro, you are fucking baller. So now, I'm actually, he's actually switching to his Rotom Wash, which will die by Stealth Rocks. Good game, Dr. Shenanigans. That was okay. That It, it freezes here. But I won. <laughs> Good game, Dr. Shenanigans. Thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you want me to do a Yu Yu battle. And enjoy this last part of Leather Pants. The pants. Yes, they do look good on you. Can I have those back now? No. Can't be my, can't be my, no, you can't be my leather shoes. I have got some leather shoes. Can't be my, can't be my, no, you can't be my leather shoes. I have got some.